Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Panasonic model number RF973. This is an AM FM stereo classic portable radio. This thing is awesome. I picked it up for $25 off of eBay back a while ago. It sat on my shelf for a good amount of time because this radio was completely filthy. Yeah, it uh, sat for about a year, and until I got time to take it apart, take the, everything out so I could clean up the speaker grills, there was so much paint and filth on this thing, but it, when I was done, it worked. I didn't have to do any type of replacement on capacitors. Everything is all original, so yeah, it's pretty neat how it turned out. There might be some speckles in the speaker grill. That's metallic paint I couldn't remove, so but for 25 bucks. I am so happy to have this radio. It's unique. It rocks. Yeah, we'll get to it here. Um, so yeah, let's uh, talk about the dimensions real quick, and then uh, we'll do a little size comparison, and we'll talk about some features. So dimensions of this radio is 11 and a half inches across. That includes the handle ends here. Uh, we're five and three quarter inches high, and we have a depth uh, of this cabinet of two and three quarter inches. And there's the top. It's kind of cool. We'll go over that in a little bit. Uh, size comparison. We'll do it real quick here. I always like to do this. Let's throw up a CC Skywave and speaker grill is the nearest radio. Uh, we got a CC Pocket in the house. There you go. You get the idea. Yeah. There's our Skywave. It's in the evening here, 1041 p.m. Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois. If I do a AM band scan, which I probably will. Uh, here we go. Deck of cards for size comparison. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves classic analog radios made in Japan. He is Iron Man. Rock on. <laughs> yeah, I have my fun with Iron Man. Awesome. Okay, so, yeah, this, this thing is amazing. Um, if you're looking for an analog radio and you want something classic, look for Panasonic. Uh, and, you know, this form factor is nice. It's just the right size. Um you'll probably get a lot of use out of something like this. Like I say, they don't need much work. You may just cleaning it up, and that's about it. Uh, every Panasonic I've, Panasonic I've bought off the eBay has always worked. I've never had one be a dud. So that's good news to hear from me. I buy a lot of radios. So if you're out there shopping, yeah, definitely check this one out. I'll have links below. I think I saw them for like 40-ish, 50-ish. I mean, yeah, I would say between 35 to 45 bucks is probably the limit I would go on something like this. But it's up to you. It's, if it's in a box, an original, and like new, then you might want to pay the extra money. So, yeah, I would rather have this radio than something like like this this pile here, this five core thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm not too thrilled with this radio. You know, twenty five bucks didn't need any cleaning, but yeah, it's it's not the greatest. This is what I want. <laughs> This is the bad boy right here. So let's go over features of this Panasonic RF973. Yeah, so it's got some cool things going on. As you can see right away, it's got two speakers, and they're, they're canted uh, away from each other, which is nice. That's how you get some nice separation on stereo. That's a smart idea. When I see stereo radios, the speakers are flush facing at you, and they're close together. You're not really going to hear much. And then it has a stereo spacer. Um, this is pretty cool, and we'll talk about that. Brushed aluminum treatment on the front here. A quarter inch headphone jack for the serious headphone listeners. Now, I would test this, but old radios, I tend to just skip that because there could be corrosion and things inside there. And if I plug in something, it may not work when I unplug it. So we'll just leave it alone. Looks like we got vented areas here. On our ends, we have little brushed aluminum end caps, which is kind of nice. Adds some flair to the radio. As you can see, it's got a little beat, but that's fine. Somebody uses this as a shop radio for a while. <clears throat> and then there's our right hand side there. And of course, you have four inch speakers on each side. Beautiful, loving it. Uh, top here, we have a nice all metal handle. Yeah, that's steel, baby. <laughs> this handle was actually uh, rusted. I had to take it apart and sand it and clean it. Um, yeah, it took quite a bit of effort, but it came out beautiful, looking nice. Yeah, look at oh, chrome on top here. Yeah, they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> uh, so the business end, top end here. Okay, so let's show you. It doesn't all quite fit on frame, but I think we can get it. The antenna here uh, is quite long, 34 inches, and it does a decent job of bringing stations in. I was surprised how well uh, the FM 
was working on this radio. Not bad at all. Switches. We have a power switch, a tone control switch, just goes treble or bass. We have a band select switch, FM, AM. Our dial is right here. It's a ribbon style. If you remember, I reviewed the Panasonic RF 1150, which is a shortwave radio. It had a similar setup. Kind of cool. It says integrated circuit here, IC. And we have a dedicated LED for FM stereo. Liking that. And you can see as our turn this, the little ribbon will move. There you go. We got FM on top. Log scale in the middle, which I'm surprised there's a log scale in a ribbon style. That's interesting. And then we have AM on the bottom. Now on my radio, the FM is not quite as scaled as the AM. AM is pretty much on target, <laughs> which is good because I listen to AM mostly. Over here is our stereo spacer. This is really cool. You can actually turn stereo off. It's an FM mono when you're all the way off there and then turn it on. And then I usually run it about here. As you add more of the spacious sound for the stereo, it will thin out, which means you lose your low end. So keep in mind, that's how it gets that spacious sound by eliminating low end. Um, here is our dedicated volume knob, which works fantastic. And over here, of course, our tuning knob, as you saw me turning. Yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. So that showed you antenna, extends, and swivels, of course. Loving it. Let's go to the back side of this radio. This beastie beast. Yeah, this thing is, I love it. <laughs> when you hear it, it's just, it's amazing. You're going to want one. Uh, right away, you see two jacks. And those are interesting. Those are record out jacks for probably a tape deck. You got right and left channels, mono probably. You have probably uh, mono cables you use to access those. And you plug them into a tape recorder. That's pretty sweet. Uh, if you want to do a lot of recording with this radio. Over here, we have our model number, RF973, FM, AM, FM, stereo. Making sure they mention that. If you look, it says frequency range, uh, 87.5 to 108 FM. And then AM, it says 525 to 1605. But this radio tunes all the way up to 1680 during the day and evening. I've checked that. It's awesome. It'll run on AC if you have the cord. I didn't get a cord with my radio. I might be able to find a cord. I think it's a Panasonic style one. It doesn't look like a normal appliance cord. Um, if you guys know of any that will work, let me know. I'd, I'd like to get a cord for this for sure. Uh, it runs on four C batteries. Uh, not the best choice of batteries, but it's all right. I'm using rechargeables in here. Working great. Uh, I'd open up and show you, but it's kind of hard to get that open. So we'll leave it shut for now. It says caution. Oh, the big thing is made in Japan right there. But doom. Prevent electrical shock. Don't remove. Yeah. There's this thing is like not fun to take apart, but it is easy to service once you get everything out of there. So definitely cool. So we're gonna do a, a little demo on the audio. I always like to do that. Now first I'll talk about FM reception, then we'll turn this radio on, get get it going. You guys can hear what it sounds like. Uh so the FM uh, reception report is like what I like to give since I don't go through the FM band because I won't really. Downstairs here it doesn't do as well as some DSP radios, uh, so I'll just talk about FM. So FM reception report, um, I have based on uh, five tier, fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Most analog radios such as this score between okay to good, which is about 48 stations found. I'm in a location every day uh, when I test these radios. Uh, same location, near a window, uh, same time of day, around usually 1, 2 in the afternoon. And it uh, gives me an idea, and I, I log the stations. I check for tropospheric ducting or e-skipping just to be sure we don't get extra stations that we're not supposed to on an average day. So I do check for that also. Uh, but So this radio uh, is a little bit above average. Uh, like I said, average you know analog radio like this here gets about 48. This one here is above average. Got about 60 stations. Puts it in the solid good category. Three star, so above average, uh, which I was pretty happy to see. Probably because of that nice long antenna there. And the FM sensitivity, or sorry, FM selectivity was okay to good. So it's still got a two and a half star rating, which is average. Uh, selectivity and FM band. You have this strong AFC circuit automatic frequency control and yeah it kind of locks in on those stronger stations and you kind of lose some of those fainter in between stations so I, I did notice I lost a bit on that so that's why the selectivity didn't score as high as the sensitivity did so there it is so we're going to go ahead and turn this radio on make sure not, we're not jamming return it to FM okay we're going to tune to Radio Totterbird now all I like to do here is use an FM transmitter Set it, I brought it near it, it's automatically tuning into it. 92.9 uh, .9 megahertz. As you can see, it's got a line out that was transmitting. And I'm using a MP3 player, Sony. And uh, yeah, we're transmitting. So let's go ahead and tune this in. For a few minutes, listen to this. 
Now you're not going to hear stereo because my mic is not a stereo mic, but uh, you'll get an idea for sound and tone, which is nice. And I'll try to use a spacer to give you an idea how that thins the sound out a bit. Let's find Radio Tiber. Okay, bottom of the band. There it is. Okay, I'm turn it down. I should say FM stereo. There we go. Red LED shining away. Nice. I guess I'll run this for a few minutes. I thought the stereo off. Trouble setting. We'll leave it on trouble. Person, that sounds amazing. <laughs> it's like, uh, the separation sounds so cool. check to see what kind of FM stations we can get. Uh, I heard some when I was tuning in Radio Thunderbird, so I bet you we'll pick some up. So let's do an FM band scan. So I'm going to turn off the uh, transmitter and the iPad, or iPod here. iPad, yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead, go to the bottom of the band here. This is cool. I'll just leave it like this. Let's extend this antenna straight up. It's cool. I can pivot it out of the way. So yeah, 34 inch antenna. It's really out there. Now this thing was like I know it's bent a little bit in one spot, but this really was like a hazed bad, and I just uh, used a, like a Scotch Bright pad, and it came out really nice. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this up, and hear what we hear on the FM band tonight. 
I'm kind of curious what I gotta do to move this antenna around. We won't get a lot of FM stereo, that's for sure. I noticed that. It takes quite a strong signal for FM stereo. We want to walk away a little bit sooner, a little bit closer to God, a better understanding of ourselves and, and the people around us, and we need your help. So. Can't hover. Hopefully, that doesn't uh, red flag. <laughs> so the count did as he was. He let Anna tell it, and she told how there were five performers before Sophia. Who it says have been arbitrarily detained during the past. Doing pretty well for downstairs here. Safety dance. <laughs> Okay, that should be it. All right, cool. So let's turn this off. We're going to AM band here. So I like to run the AM band on bass. It takes the edge off of the uh, the sound. Now expect a nice neutral tone on AM, which is nice. Uh, the FM audio uh, in person, it has uh, a nice full range, of course, because you got that stereo spacer. Get this antenna in here. Trying to get this antenna. You can probably hear that. <laughs> All right, get that locked back into the spot there. There we go. All right, so with the AM band, I'm just going to, um, we're going to tune without looking at it. I'm just going to guess where we're at. <laughs> if I get lost, I'll take the CC Skyway out. Line control, spirit. I get these mixed up when I'm tuning away from, like I'll show you. I'm tuning it like this, so I can't see those controls. <laughs> So inside this radio has a four uh, and I believe three quarter inch ferret antenna, really high quality, um, just nice. Does a great job pulling in stations. I'm not sure about tonight. We got some storms rolling in, um, but I am gonna have some dedicated daytime and evening medium wave band scans, so you guys get an idea what the AM band can do. But I figure we'll just cruise through it pretty quickly here. Let's go ahead and turn this up. We're at the bottom of the band, I believe I turned it to AM. Not yet. Because plenty of people wondered about that with the Milwaukee bus. And a lot of 
lot of that, not so much fell at the feet of Yacht. Okay, so this is 540. But a lot of that fell at the feet of the coach Mike Boonholzer. And Chris Wilson also This is WAUK, -A Jackson, Wisconsin, 70 miles away, 400 watts. As you know, it was uh, now it's 11.06 p.m. Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. An idea. I think that's one of the most. Okay, that Liberty ad I think was 550 KTRS, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles, 5,000 watts. We're pointed in that direction. Has been a slap in the face. This is 560 WIND Chicago. Who've been imprisoned, persecuted, and killed. But that's what happens when you elect people like you. Okay, let's go over here. Mutual fund at twelve percent. Why would I ever pay off my house at three percent? Because I could use that money. This is probably five ninety, let's check, or six hundred. One of those two. Faded a little bit on the radio here. 600, this is WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. 175 miles, 5,000 watts. So hopefully we can get some bigger stations in. Okay, his first sports station is 610. Can barely make it out. Uh, this is cool. This is KCSP, Kansas City, Missouri. 400 miles away. 5,000 watts. And it kind of, that causes you to hurt. You go, get a little, a little tightness in your throat, your stomach. If, 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 you're, if you're mature anyway, your stomach starts to move up towards your throat and you think you want to throw up. When I put scale to the idea, it scares you. Why does it scare you? 620, WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Not too far away, but uh, they lower their power and are directional. 52 miles away. Okay. This thing weighs about four pounds. Me moving it around is fun. <laughs> um, yeah, this is uh, 630 KYFI, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles, 5,000 watts. You can tell by the music programming. If it was country, it would be CFCO on 630 Chatham, Ontario. But we're not getting country music. This is WMFN 640. Piatone, Illinois. I don't know if they're going to get the call letters there. Uh, 75 miles away, 1600 watts. We should be able to pick up Nashville. what cash is There it is. Uh, it's in between there. 670 is pretty close. That was booming in. Uh, WSM, 650 Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Uh, nothing like listening to that music on a classic radio. Before I got to the next meeting. That sounds like a loser. <laughs> That's your complaint. We had to go to freeze and I nice, have nice clear signal here because strong WSCR Chicago, the home of the Cubs, 670. Swallow, you sound like a loser. You sound like a guy who won. Well, I think from anyone in the Day when you don't have fever. Yes, uh, Carolyn had about one. Now have been charred by the wildfires off to an early start. This is typically the time of the year we start to see those wildfires. 
Uh, we've already seen a million acres burned. The big one is the bootleg fire in Oregon, and it is even developing smoke. 700, 700 is WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Yeah, it's, that was a hard one to get because it's in between those two strong stations. Selectivity on AM band can be a little challenging, but in my band scans, you'll see that uh, it can be good in some cases. So definitely, let's go ahead and turn this up. Better than that five core that I showed you earlier. Yeah. Not only because of the we're wildfires, almost done. Gonna, the heavy smoke. Three more stations. The wildfires so far have not threatened a whole lot of crime. Burrow is trainer, and uh, the link that I had to trainer, the site came up. And it was Here's 720 WGN Chicago. Oh man, I guess the country's more doomed than I realized, but uh, clearly that was. Uh, It's uh, 740 Zoomer Radio, CFZM, out of Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. I've heard it much clearer, of course. Here's 750 WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. One she left front. And it is not a coincidence that this administration, the Biden administration, is having a super fast talker. Talks faster than Totterbert. How's that possible? <laughs> For example, For example, <laughs> this radio is awesome. <laughs> WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 760, uh, 270 miles. They say that the current Cuban unrest, that the, the massive protests in the streets are not driven. By Cubans do what Patrick did. Instead, they are driven by something else. They are driven by. This is an example where the selectivity kicks in pretty nice. This is 770 WABC, New York, New York, 750 miles. Um, you got it at 760, and then we got 780 next to it. So, neat thing about this is uh, this direction nulls out Chicago. So, New York nulls out, which is nice. So, you turn the radio this way. You guys know anything about medium wave or AM, the internal antenna, horizontally. Uh, actually, you know, uh, what do you call it? Horizontally uh, set up here. As you point the radio towards the station, you can null out the other station. So if you're moving it away, you get to the stronger signal path to this faint station. It's nice. Orientation. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Horizontal orientation. Say that five times fast. <laughs> That could mean a lot of things, couldn't it? <laughs> Numbing communism at any point here? Nice start on the first 18 holes. A bogey-free 600... Of course, here's another strong station, 780 WBBM News Radio Chicago. Old-time radio uh, in the evenings between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. Monday through Friday. Write that down if you can get WBBM in Chicago, wherever you're tuning from. Over the years, playing, playing major championships... Here's 800 CKLW, Windsor, Ontario, 270 miles. We're going to cut it here shortly. I, think, I, I know that uh, it was said earlier, and you're saying it now. We have the Strong Cities Network in, in play. That They said the UN would come in if they had to go and... Okay, I think this is uh, either 830 or 840. I recognize the guy's voice. Into the article, uh, what it basically says is that so WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, the Ukraine of the wording they use. Um, and eight fifty, there's KOA uh, News Radio, uh, Denver, Colorado, eight hundred and ninety miles. Music here on eight sixty CJBC. There we go. We'll cut it right there at 860. But yeah, this goes all the way up to 1680. It's just imagine it's beautiful. We're going to uh, do some dedicated band scans so you get an idea. But overall, my impressions of the Panasonic RF973. If you can pick up a nice example of it, you will love this classic radio. Number one, its looks are amazing. 
Um, you will if you if you're a person that likes looks and you like the sitting on a shelf. Somebody's going to talk about it and say, "Hey, what is that?" You know. Uh, so they will definitely be a shelf talker instead of a shelf sitter. <laughs> Um, that's awesome. And if you can find the AC cord, you can use it all the time, which I find fantastic. And you have to service it. It's not a huge deal as far as uh, you can get in there. You can get things taken apart. It does take time. Um, if you're patient, you could definitely work on this radio uh, and not have any issues. So it's definitely a radio that's serviceable by yourself if you're inclined uh, with a soldering iron and that. So it wins all day long for analog portable radio in that price range, in that size range. Yeah. You get something like this, you'll just be happy as heck. <laughs> Trust me. I'll have links below in the comments section and in the video description. If you're looking for a Panasonic radio like this, hopefully you find one cheap and you let me know and you tell me how much you love it because you're going to love it. It's just, it's just that cool of a little radio. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say little, but it's a nice radio. Barely fits on my screen, but it's a nice, I like this one a lot. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> not giving this one away, guys. <laughs> Uh, so there it is, the RF973, the RF give me a big like if you like the video, too if you like Panasonic vintage classic radios like this from the 70s, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon to notify of future videos, I'm going to keep on hunting down these radios, yeah they take a lot of work to get them going, like I said I got this radio, it sat on the shelf for a while because it was just, it looked like too much to take on, but I'm glad I did, <laughs> and it sounds wonderful. And of course three, comment below, we think about buying a Panasonic, you know, old school analog radio like this versus one of these uh, newer um, dealios on eBay. You know, this is 25 bucks. You know, would you rather have this or this? Um, my money is on this one here <laughs> for sure. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.